الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله خير خلق محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ونمالا أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في رابط الآيات نمر 81 82 سوة النساء هير إن we inshallah try to focus for some of the ayat explanation about this ayat inshallah um, here the Quran here talking about the two type of the people one the mu'mineen and second one the munafiqeen who is hiding his kufr and showing for you the Muslim you have a two face one face show you Muslim another face is the kufar when you're getting benefit with from Islam, he's showing his I'm Muslim. When he's gonna fit in the Kufar side, he's going to the Kufar side. So that is the here Quran talking about uh, these type of the people. And also Quran gave the advice for the Muslim, for the moment. If something is happened, when you have to go back, ask from who? Especially the Quran and Kareem and Hadith and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the time Allah sent it. Uh, the people was and they in high level of the language. They understand exactly what say the Quran and what say the Hadith. They language on that level. When they are speaking and the high level of the language, which good, uh, 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 any single word and the vocabulary they were using, they understand this vocabulary. What is meaning? Because they are was Arab, really Arab people. They are grown up and their language was the most of the time. The understanding of the language is not only the word you have to go to open a dictionary and understand. No, his need to understand the culture. Maybe using the word sometime and vocabulary different meaning, but you put it in a sentence with the character completely giving different meaning for you. So here and, and also the, so Allah subhanahu with all this one, also Allah sent the, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to explain for them. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough only send the book and go you read and you learn from this book. You have a teacher in the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Similar with the Ahadith. So when was coming in Iwahi, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained for the Sahaba. Here the Quran talking, say this ayah, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِي غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا They're not thinking, not reading, not understanding the Quran, if the Quran wasn't from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala side, yet they will find a lot of things in this book be clash each one. You never can find Quran Karim one ayah clash with another ayah. You can't find the Quran Karim clash with the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at all. But when you go to the most of the book, they are changed it. You can find in the Torah, in Injil, the most things they are changing. Clash one side with another side. You're talking about something and that's one against that one. So here in the Quran, Allah said, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا If they're thinking, they're reading the Quran, they think about the Quran, the few things. One, the knowledge of the Quran. The, thick, the second one, is the, the miracle in the Quran Karim. The third one, when the news is Quran is talking about the history. The fourth one, the language they are using. They never can, you can't find one history. In the time is Quran is come, one of them, the Munafiqin, the Mushrik, the Arwa's enemy directly. You can't find one Mushrik said for the Nabi Sallallahu we can't understand what you said. Give me one. Give me, ask the Abu Jal how much was fighting with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How much the, the, the Abu Laha was fighting with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A lot of the Sahaba, uh, uh, the, the, the Kuffar. Give me one example, one of the Kuffar said, what you think, said here, we can't understand you. His meaning he was very clear. Because they language. So the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ we make it the Quran easier for understanding. The what is happening for us because it's not our language. Maybe I can speak now with you. 
He's speaking some English word. But he gave me some book, for example, he's talking about the science. He's using different vocabulary. I, I'm confused, I can't uh, read it. When you can read, if you're, you, you, you're special in, in the science, I give you something talking about the, uh, uh, for example, uh, polity, you may learn the, some of the word you can find, what meaning here. You have to go to, to search what meaning that. You have to go to the vocabulary. You, your language, but sometimes you need to go to dictionary, what meaning this word. Why we need dictionary? Dictionary, no, no, for the, for the people, they can't read and can't write. These people, they can't read and write, and they need to understand the vocabulary when you have to use it. Sometimes you're reading a poem. Yeah? Poem, share. Or a poem, yeah. And maybe you can't understand what meaning. You try to be one of explain for you. Or you need to want vocabulary here. Because what meaning the word is here? In the vocabulary, they use it in, the, in this, uh, and this poem. So similar to Quran and Kareem, Okay, he, what Allah said, وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِّنَ الْأَمْنِ أَوِ الْخَوْفِ أَذَاعُوا بِهِ That's talking here about the, about the mushrikeen. About the, about the munafiqeen. When they are, come some news, and they are scared far, they are scared far, and they are scaring, something happened, yeah, and they keep him too much bigger. Bigger. Like the news. A small mistake, if happened for the Muslim, oh, they keep it big. They don't, that's, that's what they want, how much they keep it showing big in the news to show you that mistake is very big. And how much they try to show you, scare you from the, what they want to do. That's the news job. And if you do something good, show you small. Because they're jealous of you. They, yeah, they don't want to show you you're doing a good, good, great job. When you're doing the good, they show him very small. And the way they done something for their good, they give him too much big. If there's something one happened for you, I mean, for you it happens, a small thing is bad, they, they want to, to scare you and they show him very dangerous. So that's the monafiqin what that's time like that. Some people, they want to attack with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were giving news, oh, that Kabila is very strong, they will kill you, they will do that, to, to scare the, uh, the, 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 the Muslimin from that group. Uh, can you stay, boys, please? Uh, please, yeah, disrupt me, thank you. Yeah, mm, that's, they keep you, scare you. Yeah, Jazakallah khair, please, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. That is, uh, scare you from the, uh, 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 the, the Sahaba. Because when inside you, the people, you don't know is a Munafiq or no. You have enough power to defend yourself. Now it's happening the, the war between you and your enemy. And you this time coming talking to your friend. And they are very strong. And they are very powerful. We can't do anything. We shouldn't attack. We should. It's meaning. Your, your uh, power or the feeling, what meaning the ruhi and any? When you, when you, when you know something, you brawa. They will keep you to scare, give you weak, show you weak. When this weak come and the people hard, they can't go fight, defend themselves. So the Murshidikin was doing. Ila rasuli wa ila. Here the ayah we hear understanding something. They want to tell you. No, the ayah said like that. Or the, the, what has happened, we understand it like this one. But what said the Quran? وَلَوْ رُدُّوا إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أُولِ الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمْدَطُونَ مِنْ This ayah for that time and for the, especially and this time for us, the people. The most the time, the man don't have the knowledge. He don't have the enough knowledge about understanding the Quran Kareem or the Hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he is giving the fatwa. He is giving to changing something. Now, uh, well, I, one, one day here, I, I find a boy, and he, against with all ulama and standing of the Quran Kareem, different idea, against all hadith sahih, just only, is not, is not meaning like that. So who, he can't speak Arabic. So if he, 
And somebody is speaking Arabic, can't explain for you. Then this time, the people, the other language is very weak. And he's coming, not the same thing. No, we shouldn't listen to the ulama. Anybody has to be open his book and, and you go open translation. And what you understand, that is the, take the fatwa for yourself. If it's, it's reopened the Quran, and I don't have a knowledge about the history of the Quran and Karim. For example, the, the wine is haram, the alcohol is haram to drink. Drink is haram. If you go to the Quran, Quran says for you, don't drink the alcohol when you're going for salah. So the meaning is allowed, you have to drink. But here we talk about the history. Yeah? I mean, the, 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 the Quran, when he say the alcohol is haram, he have a three time to be sidar. It's not allowed to, re, to drink in, 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 in the salat time. He's not allowed to drink in pu uh, pu public time. And they finally say this is the haram. It's not allowed to eat. So if I don't know the knowledge about the history, and do not know that this ayah or where is that, I found another third ayah together to put him to understand, if I just only point here and find that this eye is meaning allowed for me to drink the alcohol, but that it shouldn't be in the, in, the, in the public place or shouldn't be, for example, in the salah time. Each one I find it. Because you don't have a knowledge. But when it's coming there, الرسول, منكم, if you don't understand anything, come back to the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that's time, and the ulam who's the leader and who's the ulama and who's the knowledge, if it's something about to, to, to choose some decision, you have to come back to the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and ask the, your, your leader. If it's something about the knowledge, to understand about Sharia, come back, ask the Alim. Come back, ask the who has the knowledge to explain for you what. He said, وَلَوْ رُدُّ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَالْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَ مِنْ If they come back, if they really something for them is not clear, they not understanding, they should come ask the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the day leader, the ulama or the who is the leader, الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَ مِنْ The لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ The people they are can understand the Qur'an Kareem, they have a knowledge, they can explain for you what is the meaning of the ayah. وَلَوْ لَا فَضُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ لَاتَّبَعْتُمُ الشَّيْطَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا If you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, you will all, uh, uh, only most, uh, on the list, few. few of if your people, they, they will save from the shaitan. But all you are going in wrong way. Because the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if give for anybody, you have to read and you have to understand by yourself. Who have a time, and especially this life, how many people they can go study and to learn Sharia and come? No, everybody have a special, is in something. We have a special for ulama. If you don't now, asking the uh, alim, done your job. Just only you know that halal haram. But if it was uh, your responsibility, go, you should learn by yourself how much was for our difficult. The learning in this time, different language, and you have to go study, you have to spend few years in your life to understand something about that knowledge. So, فَقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ لَا تُكَلَّفُ إِلَّا نَفْسِكَ Here, ask the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talking about the jihad fi sabir Allah. And you start. You, if the people they are not following you, لَا تُكَلَّفُ إِلَّا نَفْسِكَ Don't worry about, about, about who is not following. When you want to do something, you should be first one to practice. That's the giving the advice for the for the for everybody who is a leader and who is want to teach the people, maybe dad and family, parents, or his friend, or imam, or dai, anybody, the first one we have to practice. You, our job is explain for the people. Doesn't matter they are under following or no. The Anbiya job, the scholar job, they have to be explained for the people what is the right and the wrong. They know my responsibility. The people, when I explain for them, they are following or no. I have to do my job. I should do my job and leave who is practicing or no. Is, and not for me excuse because I say, and people, they are not practicing. I should also don't practice. No, ya I will practice the first one. Yeah. And tell the mu'mineen. Show him the benefit of the of when the Sharia. So you need 
take him in this way, help him, to explain for them, to, to go. Yeah. We wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you from the kuffar. So his meaning here, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more stronger if you want to take the, the what is happening, the, the punishment you will get when you not apply the sharia is be more harder, more painful when you apply the sharia and the people and the kuffar, they are telling you bad. So what, maybe sometimes we're not looking about some halal and haram because we're shy or people tell you like that. The lady, she's not wearing the hijab because if I go outside, people, they are mocking me or I scare or belies all they are not hijab. I shouldn't have, no, ya akhi. You, what you will go, you, what you will see in, ya ukhti, in, 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 in there, in the qiyamah is more harder, more harder than what you're feeling now in front of the people. So the Sharia here give us balance. One, the Quran is for the understanding for we have to read. We have don't leave this our book. We have to be, know what said the, uh, the, the Sharia, understand the Sharia, what he said in, 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 in this book. And same, if we don't know in something, we can't understand something, we have to go to the back to who has had the knowledge, the ulama is our responsibility. The third one, the hidayah is the bliss from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lot of people, they have a knowledge, but they're not practicing. How many human living in this earth? How many of them Muslim? And for that type of the Muslimin, they name Muslimin. How many of person of this Muslim they are practicing Sharia? And for that when they practicing Sharia, how many of them Allah acted for them? So meaning all the beliefs of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The hidayah is no because I'm smart. No, because I'm like that. No, yeah, yeah at all. Is the beliefs of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like blessing somebody and give for him this, this chance. So after that, if anything has happened, we should come back to the, to the Allah and, and, and his, his, his Rasul and the ulama. And when you want to apply, we have to be first person to be practicing our Sharia. Don't look who's practicing or no. Nabi coming in Qiyamah time is only alone. Nobody, nobody follow him. Nuh alayhi salam, 950 years he tried to do da'wah for the people. Just only 70 people, a few of the people they have followed. 950 years, 1000 years. But just only, if, 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 and this message is covered 77 people, alhamdulillah. And, and in two years. And as for 100 years, 1000 years you're working, not somebody believes. So that's how much is hard. Is that the meta who is following or no? It's not our job. We should explain, we should talk. Who is following, he could have benefit. It's no, we're not losing anything. So doesn't matter, we see the people, they are most of people, they are kuffar, and most of people, they are in wrong way. Most of people, they're going for the haram. Doesn't matter what they're doing at all. Don't be shocked you and surprise you what they say they are, how much powerful the kuffar. And you say, okay, it's, we are weak. No, at all. You weak being sometimes or the part of the, your life, but the Akhara, because our plan not at all, not is only this life. The, the, our mean life, our wish, and the hope is always Akhara. We're focusing for the Akhara, we're living this time. This life for us like, the, like some stuff, we have to work. You never, you like your car, you're driving with your car, going in your job and coming back. But if tomorrow, if you seek, if you don't have money, you will sell this car to spend the money for your... It, get well. Get well. How much you love your car? But it's not meaning if you tomorrow you seek, you will die, you don't have money, I never sell my car because I love my car. Yeah? Because your health is more important than the car. The Akhirah for us is our life. We love this dunya, yes, because it's human. We love our children, nice house, money. We love all of them. But it's not meaning, if somebody tell you, why this guy, he have not money to spend for, uh, to go buy the medicine. He have not money to buy medicine and he's died. And we tell you, okay, he has a car, what kind of, no, he, have, he loved his car, he didn't want to sell his car. What, you, what, you would tell him it's crazy, it's good, but you would know, okay, what is that? Thing? So what somebody is coming, listen to the Akhra, and for the dunya, what you tell him? 
يعني يور الله سيد انما واليكم وراضك فتنا نو اونلي يور ويل يور تشيلدرن از بي سامثينج فور يور تيست يعني يو جست اونلي فور سام ماني فور ذا هاوس ان ذيس لايف فور سامثينج هير يو ليس ذا اخره نوت اكسكيوز داس از هير ذا قران الكريم توكينج فور المسلمين اند جيف ادفايس هاو ماتش دي ار تو بي in the practice and not the care about the sharia subhanaka allahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik barakallahu fiik